Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at the ARC CBA850 and how you can easily switch cellular carriers. The CBA850 is a mobile broadband adapter meant to bring cellular connectivity to any device that requires it. This is purpose-built as a cellular backup for an existing wired connection or for use in networks where wired connectivity isn't practical. The ARC CBA850 includes a powerful multi-band cellular modem that works across multiple US carriers. This means a single device can work on multiple carriers in multiple different geographic locations without having expensive truck rolls to replace or reconfigure equipment. For this demonstration, we have the Verizon version of the ARC CBA850, and we're going to be modem flashing it to support an AT&T SIM card. The first thing that we'll have to do is get our hands on the modem firmware to flash this to. So open up a web browser and head over to cradlepoint.com firmware. This is going to be where you can download router updates and also the modem firmware updates. Now, as of firmware 5.4, Cradlepoint is no longer requiring paid access to get these files. If you don't already have a portal login, you'll have to create one now. Doing so is very straightforward. You're just going to click the register for connect button and you'll get a form where you'll fill out some of your information. Most importantly, you'll need your model number, serial number, and MAC address of your cradle point that you're looking to update in order to create an account. Once you have that, you can enter all the information and log in. I've already got a portal set up, so I'm going to skip this step, and we're going to go ahead and log into my account. So you're going to select Log In to Cradle Point Connect and enter the username and password that you created at your registration. Now as part of 3G Store, my Connect portal is going to look a little bit different than yours will as a customer, however everything is still going to apply for you. So once you're logged in, you're going to head into the Firmware Download section. Once you're there, you'll scroll down to the section on the page where you select a router. This is where you choose what you're going to get the firmware for. In our case, we're going to choose the CBA850. And when you look at the modem firmware section, you can see the different carrier versions and the different downloads, depending on what you need to flash the router to. Go ahead and download that and save it somewhere where it is easily accessible for the next step. With your firmware in hand, open up a web browser on a computer that is connected to the cradle point that you're looking to upgrade. Head to the default interface of 192.168.0.1 and log in. Now you can see by looking at our cradle point screen on the top that there is an active internet connection. And if you go over to the internet tab and select connection manager, we can get some more details here. The first device shows SIM card number one as Verizon and SIM card number two as AT&T. Remember this is the Verizon version, so that's what it's connected with. Select the modem, hit control, select firmware, and then you can browse to the file that you downloaded with the manual firmware upgrade option. Once the file is selected, go ahead and click begin upgrade. Now this process in total takes five to six minutes and the router will reboot itself automatically during this process. We're going to speed up time here a little bit to save you from having to watch all of that happen. Now it's important while this is happening that you don't touch the router, unplug the modems, or kill the power to this, otherwise it may damage the modem. Automatically the cradle point will bring you back to the login page once it's complete. Log back in and in our situation you can see that we have an active internet connection. When you go into the internet tab and back to connection manager, you'll see that we are no longer connected on the Verizon SIM, but we're connected on the AT&T SIM card instead. With just a few minutes time and no extra cost for hardware, we have switched our cradle point from Verizon to AT&T. We can do this at any time we want with just a simple firmware flash thanks to the dual SIM embedded modem. For more information on the Cradlepoint ARC CBA850, head over to 3gstore.com CBA850, and for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.